Are you cold? Do you need a nice cozy little fire to warm up your chicken meat? Well don't worry, I'm here to show you all the ways you can easily and quickly start a fire in DayZ. Step 1. Kindling. Before you can lay anything to flames, you need something small to get your fire going. This could include a piece of paper, a rag, bandage, or a piece of tree bark that can be collected by using a knife on a tree. Step 2. Fuel. Kindling is purely a fire starter and won't be effective or last very long after being lit. So you'll need to collect firewood from chopping trees down or short sticks collected from bushes. You can also break down long sticks to make three short ones. Step 3. Now that you have what you need to make a fire, you'll obviously need something to light it. You can obviously use a lighter or matches, but if those aren't available and you can't find any, you can use a lit road flare. Or you can even craft an improvised hand drill kit by combining one short stick with one piece of tree bark. Step 4. Now that you have all the pieces to the puzzle, here are your options when it comes to setting things up and actually lighting that baby up in flames. Combine the kindling and the fuel together in your inventory menu. This should give you an option to craft a fireplace. Do this, and then left click with the fireplace in your hands, and you should give, be given a prompt to place the fire on the ground to be lit. In order for a place down fireplace to be lit, it must be outdoors. To start an indoor fire, you can attach your crafted fireplace to the brick fireplace or a wood stove by holding the fire pit in your hands and attaching it directly to the indoor fire holder. You can also just attach each item individually to achieve the same result. Or lastly, if you'd like to avoid the time it takes to craft a fireplace by hand, you can also just drop your kindling outside or place it by itself in the fireplace and then light that on fire. After that, you can chuck the fuel on and boom, you have a fireplace without all that crafting crap. Well, that's it for this mini Daisy tutorial. I hope it was helpful, and if there are any other crafting idea how-tos that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, but thanks guys for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.